Hi, I'm Damian Rochester. I'm 6'1 and I'm with Green Key Management. According to a U.S. Department of Defense memo, 38% of military smokers start after enlisting. According to a Newport planning document, in the past, Big Tobacco has said there isn't a market in the country that has the sales potential for Newport like the military market, adding the plums are here to be plucked. In the past, Big Tobacco viewed the military market family as a captive audience, due basically to the self-imposed confinement of the military family to on-base activities. In the past, a major tobacco company saw the military as an attractive marketing opportunity because of its young adult servicemen that they described as classic downward smokers, less educated, part of the wrong crowd, in trouble with authorities, and having limited job prospects. In a year, the VA spent $5 billion to treat veterans with tobacco-related COPD. Big Tobacco once said people entering stressful situations like starting a new job or entering the military often start to smoke or smoke more. They target their products to the U.S. military. More than 30% of Marines smoke, the highest smoking rate among all U.S. service members. In 2006, tobacco-related costs of the military health service alone totaled $564 million.